Hello friends, hunts are full of difficulties. These traps are also made specifically for dealing with wild boars. Almost everyone knows about the presence of these troublesome creatures. So how North Carolina farmers trap and hunt them? In this video, we will know more and more about this duck. Wild boars. They are invasive animals that are believed to have arrived from Europe in the 16th century, has become the greatest environmental and economic threat in the United States. On top of that, North Carolina's wild boar population has seen significant growth, creating a unique challenge for communities and state governments. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, referred to as the USFWS, feral pigs in North Carolina will reach about 2 million by 2024, accounting for 10% of the total wild boar population in the United States. Indeed, this is an impressive number, making the state one of the largest wild boar populations in the country. The sudden growth of feral swine in North Carolina has not only created a robust breeding market, but also has had significant environmental and economic consequences for the state. Their destruction of trees, crops, and other assets has created an emergency situation, requiring drastic community intervention. According to the USFWS estimates, North Carolina not only ranks first in feral hog numbers, but is also one of the state's hardest hit by their negative impacts. Detailed data shows that North Carolina accounts for 10% of the total wild boar population in the U.S., surpassing rivals such as Texas, Georgia, Tennessee, Missouri, and Arkansas. However, not only is the number huge, but the harmful effects of the wild boar population also spread to many different areas. They not only damage the environment, but also threaten community health. The wild boars are a source of dangerous diseases for humans and the livestock, creating a medical emergency. People in North Carolina, faced with those negative consequences, had to take extreme countermeasures. Trapping and hunting have become the main solutions to control and reduce wild boar populations. These measures are not only a temporary solution, but also an important step to protect the living environment and ensure social security. North Carolina. You all know that this is a beautiful place with its rolling hills, mountains, and flatlands. Picture this, the Blue Ridge and Great Smoky Mountains weaving through the state, creating a stunning canvas of nature's art. Now, let me take you on a little journey to the land of North Carolina where wild hogs roam freely in the hills and valleys. So these wild hogs, also known as boars, are quite the adaptable creatures. They love hanging out in 
hilly areas, you know, where there are lots of trees and goodies to munch on. And of course, they're not also as far away from water sources, like a river or a stream. We all need a little hydration sometimes, right? Now let's talk about the new folks down in North Carolina who have been handling these wild hogs. The farmers. I've got some real tricks up their sleeves traps. Well, y'all know that they all use all sorts of traps, from snap traps to hook traps and mesh traps. But if you want to know the real deal, this will be the snap trap. It's like a bear hug for the hog, but in a steel door kind of way. Ain't that smart? But hold your horses. We've also got some high-tech stuff going on as well. Now let me break down the hog catching process for y'all. First, farmers scout out the perfect spot where lots of hog footprints, you know. Then they set up the trap in a spot where these hogs like to hang out. It is like setting the stage for a hog party. Mixed up, they throw in some bait. We're talking corn, potatoes, or maybe some tasty berries. Something that will make those hogs go. Oh, what's this delicious surprise? Once the trap is set and the bait is in, it is time to play the waiting game. The farmers come back to check on their traps regularly. Gotta make sure everything is running smooth and the hogs are falling for the bait. It is like a little dance between the farmers and the hogs, you know? Sneaky but effective. Now, let's talk numbers. According to the big shots at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the hog population in North Carolina took a bit of a dip, about 20% less in 2023 compared to the previous year. And, and that's making progress right there. So there you have it. North Carolina, where the hills are alive with the sound of the hog traps snapping shut. It is a wild, wild world out there, but these farmers are keeping things in check, one trap at a time, yeah. Setting a ride of fire, swapping stores, and participating in North Carolina's hog hunting season is a wonderful experience. First of all, there are two main ways where you can participate with seasonal hunting and permit hunting. The seasonal hunt begins on October 1 and ends on December 31. During this time, you are free to pursue those wild boars with close-range hunting equipment, bows and arrows, or even as a good type of hunting tool. Now, for those who want to hunt year-round, there is the option of licensed hunting. It is a year-long job, but you must have a state-issued hunting license, which costs $25 a year. It keeps things organized and ensures everything stays up to date. So picture this, farmers and hunters working together to solve this feral pig situation. Farmers give hunters detailed information about where these pigs congregate and you will learn from there. They're out there checking for signs of pigs, like tracks, droppings, and messy vegetation. 
and reporting back to the hunting tee. Going from fields to hills, our journey covers all types of terrains. We can hop on a bike or ATV to get to the plains. But when we can get to those hills, it is all about hiking or using some rugged mountain biking. While you're out there, a few things to keep in mind. Always check your gears before hitting the trail. Wear a helmet if you're hiking through hills. Watch your step in dense foliage theater and do not forget to bring some food and water. With around 200,000 pigs hunted each year, this hunting has had a real impact on wild boar populations. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, we're already seeing pig populations decline by about 20% by 2023. This isn't just about keeping a pig in a bag for fun. It makes our environment safer and keeps our roads cleaner. In addition, it puts more money in the pockets of people, especially our farmers. So there you have it, hog hunting in North Carolina, where it is more than just a sport, it is a community effort. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel right now and hit the like button and share this video with all of your friends so that you can watch it and enjoy it as well. Thank you and see you again. In the 18th century to the 20th centuries, Texas farmers used pitfall traps to deal with feral hog populations. This is one of the traps invented and considered the most effective trap at that time. The process of setting a pitfall trap requires finesse and techniques and involves digging a hole about two feet deep, placing bait around the hole and placing a delicate trap at the hole's entrance. You can use fragment water baits to attract wild boars as well. When wild boars pass through the hole, the trap activates and quickly captures them. Although pitfall traps are an effective solution, but they can also cause risks of injuries to wild boars. On the other hand, the result of using pitfall traps has been a significant reduction in feral hog numbers in Texas. Although the problem has not been completely resolved, pitfall traps have played an important role in controlling their overpopulation. The wild boar knit traps are a brilliant innovation that came out of Texas A&M University in 2005. Designed to be effective and humane, they are a remarkable solution for minimizing negative impacts. Extremely harmful to the environment and wild boars, a large net is placed over the area where wild boars are likely to appear, creating a flexible structure that can adapt to a variety of terrains. What's special is that the rope is connected to a net pulled from a distant location creating an ideal opportunity to effectively capture wild boars. When a wild boar enters the area, the system automatically activates, causing the knit to be pulled down and quickly secure the animal. This helps in minimizing the risk of injury to wild boars, 
and also increases the likelihood of successful capture. People use wooden or metal posts to create a fixed frame. High quality barbed wire mesh or nylon mesh is used to cover this frame. And mesh edges are pinned tightly to the inside of the frame. The entrance of the trap is about 12 inches wide. Wide enough for feral pegs to move around. So when the wild boars get in, the knit holds will prevent them from getting out. The typical height of an erect net trap is approximately 6 feet. This is designed to prevent wild boars that may try to escape the trap by jumping up or over it. Normally, each trap is capable of catching from 5 to 10 wild boars in one operation. This method has been successfully implemented in Texas and many other states across the United States to reduce devastating feral pig populations. These traps, after being placed in the forest for a period of time, are acquired and placed elsewhere to catch wild boars. The mesh frames will be firmly pinned to withstand the strength of wild boars. After being repaired, the cage trap will be moved to the area where there are signs of wild boars' presence. To activate this trap, the trap door will be pulled up and tied to the inside of the trap. Inside the trap cage will be spread a layer of soil. After being covered, a layer of corn, kernels and wild boars bait will be spread. Some tree branches will be placed around the trap, so that the wild boars cannot detect the trap. Wait until overnight and then you can harvest wild boars. In addition, Texas have invented larger sized trap doors to be able to catch herds of wild boars moving at night. The trap door is a special feature of this trap. The door is tied tightly at the top and lies diagonally to the ground. A wild boar entering from under the door will not be able to escape. This trap is quite simple, however, it can catch about 20 wild boars in one trap. Similar to the design of this trap cage, the trap has a fairly simple structure. The trees that hold the cage in place and withstand the strength of the wild boars are of quite good quality. The poles will be pinned to the ground about two feet. These nets will be tied tightly to the poles. The exit entrance will be located at the edge of the trap frame. In addition to this type of door, trap doors can be designed to catch wild boars. Are there any other traps that you know about when it comes to dealing with large wild boars population? If so, please feel free to leave all your comments down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications bell.
For now, let's learn about other measures to deal with invasive wild boars in other areas. Fields are always an available food source for wild pigs. Whether the fields are waiting to be harvested or are being harvested in their main target, trees fell in small areas, agricultural products fell on the ground. It would be very bad if agricultural products were destroyed up to 50% of the fields. They follow their flocks to eat food throughout these areas. Harvesting fields will make it easy to see them in the middle of the field. Not only wild boars and sows, hybrid wild boars with other coat colors are also easy to see. When you encounter them, do not get close. This will be dangerous for you. Remember, I just warned you. Measures to deal with invasive wild boars have not yet completely controlled them. Some herds still escape and forage around the forest. You must understand that this species is very intelligent and easily adapts to any living environment. The forest ecosystem is very diverse and rich, providing many food sources for wild pigs. Wild boars can eat all types of food, including grass, trees, fruits, seeds, and insects. With rapid reproduction, millions of wild boars can appear in about a year, increasing the risk of spreading and causing great damage to the forest ecosystem. This possesses a major challenge to measure the control and manage wild boar populations, requiring close cooperation between communities, governments, and environmental experts. There are many different types of traps, and they are not nearly as effective in controlling feral pigs. Traps like this were invented to catch a large number of wild boars in one go. The trap is made of small trap pieces assembled together. Each panel will be tightly joined together to form a tight pattern. The trap cage material is usually made of high strength steel and does not rust. In particular, steel can withstand a great deal of force. According to our research from Purdue University, USA, the impact force of a wild boar when hitting a steel cage can be up to 1,000 pounds. Therefore, steel will be the most durable and reasonable material to make wild boar trap cages. After being brought to locations where wild boars frequently appear, the traps will be set up and the bait will be added inside. Linking with the camera system will help hunters control how the trap operates remotely. These trap cages can work well both day and night. During the day, in any location, when wild boars go foraging, they will be attracted by the bait in the cage. They will be alert and slowly go inside to enjoy themselves. As soon as they feel safe, they will invite other pigs to join them. At this point, just activate the trap to capture them. It is estimated that each trap can catch about 5 to 20 pigs in one catch. Then that can be harvested and prepared for the next trap. At night, 
they will be searching for food more vigorously. You won't be able to tell which area they appear from. But watch, they are gradually entering the trap. They rely on the scent of the bait placed inside the trap to reach this area. Why should you trap wild boars at night, during the day, when the temperature is higher? They are more susceptible to heat stress and less likely to forage for food. At night, wild boars will move to more distant areas in search of food. It is estimated that the number of wild boars trapped at night is two to three times higher than during the day. These night traps almost always harvest a lot of wild boars. When morning comes, these traps will be harvested and prepared for the next trap. Each trap will be placed in one area for three to five days and then moved to another area. One trap can catch 38 wild boars. Do you believe it? These large traps have been known to catch large numbers of wild boars in one trapping session. Let's see how to create this big trap. They put the shields together. The panels are assembled in a most sturdy way to be able to withstand the strength of many wild boars. At the same time, You can make an even bigger trap if you want. These door panels are also designed to be sturdy, so in cases of such bigger traps, you will need more bait placed inside the trap to attract more wild boars, comparing to small traps. Now let's see how the trap works. After being attracted, the wild boar will enter the worker will observe on the camera to determine the time in the trap with the most wild boars to launch the trap. When the door collapsed, they will run very wildly and look for a way out. Look at the resistance of this trap cage. It is very great. This amount of wild boars trapped will be harvested and processed into expensive dishes. The price of wild boar meat is quite high, but first, we need to learn how to prepare it before we plan to consume this type of meat. So since these solutions have been affecting in preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.